and welcome to The Positivity Show. I'm Tanya Lacey and I am super, super excited, particularly if you are an online entrepreneur. Perhaps you're someone that's been in my community for a little while. You are going to learn heaps from today's guest. Today, it's my absolute pleasure to introduce to you a woman who has her own online business and has had this business for quite some time. She's a stay-at-home mum. She's a wife. She's a mother. She's a daughter. She's an author. She's a writer. And we're hearing from the one and only, welcome to the program, Jody Allen. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm great. I'm great. And I'm so excited to be finally having the opportunity to interview uh, you and to spend some one-on-one time with you as well. So thank you so much for doing this because you've been traveling, haven't you? I have. Been in Sydney about three times in the last two weeks. So it's exhausting, but um, no, no place like home. That's awesome. So I've got quite a few people in my business community uh, who will be watching this. And the two things in particular that I was really feel proud of you about is your authorship and that you're an author and you're not just a, an author, but a published author. And there is a distinction here. There's a lot of people who are authors and self-published, but you actually are a published author. So are you happy for us to jump in there and share a little bit about how that came to be and, and what your focus was at the time when all that got started? Sure. Well, um, when um, I started Stay at Home Mums, it's about seven years ago, and um, we built up a, a really, really big audience. And um, uh, I did sort of notice on LinkedIn that a lot of people from Penguin Publishing had started following. And I thought, oh, you know, that that's really odd. And then um, I got an email out of the blue saying, do you want to do a book? So I was insanely lucky that, you know, most people try and get their attention. But for me, it was the other way around. So um, uh, they just wanted to meet me one day. So I met a lady at the um, uh, Sydney airport. She said it was to make sure I wasn't a crazy lady. Oh. <laughs> I a well, little... I could her on the plane if, if, if you were. I could send you on. <laughs> oh, wow. And, um, no, it was really, really good. So my first book was Once a Month Cooking and then I've done Live Well on Less and then the $50 Weekly Shop and then the $50 Weekly Shop Dinners. And wow. uh, two of those four have been bestsellers, which I'm absolutely stoked about. The other two, they're yeah, still good. Like They still sold thousands and thousands, but just not as many as the others. And I've got a fifth book in the pipeline, which I'm actually not sure what I'm going to write about yet, but I've, wow. I've got the contract and it's really sort of exciting to have that, you know, you can write about whatever you like. Oh, wow. That's so inspiring really i've always wanted to do a novel though but that might be later on down the track okay okay Mm. so so tell tell us about the on being an online entrepreneur and i know that your audience was there supporting state the stay-at-home mums but what's life like been like for you being an online entrepreneur and doing that from home i mean this is really where you know you can be you can make it big and you can do really well Mm-hmm. And it can be from home, and I think this is a real, um, a real opportunity to share. So I'd love love to share your experience about that. Okay, well, um, I I was I fell into becoming an online entrepreneur quite by accident. Um, my husband and I've been looking for a business forever, but we just simply we couldn't afford to buy one, and. Um, uh, I'm a minutes clerk by trade and had two babies in 12 months and then became, I was made redundant right in the middle of that. And um, my husband and I only had $50 a week to live on. So it was really, really hard because we were in the middle of building our dream home that we'd had on the fridge for 10 years. And it was a, a point of, um, you know, like, do do we do it or, you know, do we just sell up and give up? But no. And um so I started a Facebook page really uh, as a way to get ideas from other people on how to save money around the house. Um, so it was quite really for selfish reasons. I wasn't promoting myself. I was like, what do you have that I can save money for? And it really sort of hit um, hit a chord with people. I think we had um, something like 10,000 followers on Facebook in the first week. Um, and at one stage we were going up 1500 every half an hour. It was crazy. And that was for the first six months. So no website. And then, you know, everyone kept saying, Oh, you've got to do a website, got to do a website. So I rang everybody in Gympie, like there's five people 
and said, oh, I've got no money, but I really need a website. And of course, four of the five hung up on me and I must admit those four that did are regretting it severely now. I'm, I'm friends with them all, which is really good. But no, one fellow actually jotted my name down and um, he rung me half an hour later seeing the, the sheer numbers and, and said, you know, get your button to my office, this, you know, and I was really lucky that he did it for me without an initial cost and I got to pay him back over a period, which was really good. And generally hasn't looked back. Um, like it, it takes all my time and um but i absolutely love it i love writing and i love being a part of community and you know sharing all this information and learning every day and talking to these amazing mums all over the country and making that real community plus i'm a real homebody at the best of times i don't particularly like leaving home so it's good for me that i can step out of my bedroom and i'm in my office generally so um i never want that to change i actually love being from home and it gives me a little bit of work-life balance with the kids and um you know i can sort of drop it whenever i like but i am a total workaholic but, but i'm doing something that i absolutely love wow there's so much in that thank you very much for sharing and i want to pick up on this concept of luck okay so um you know, I think it's about being at the right place at the right time, but it sounds like you were really serving, like you were, at first you were serving yourself, which was really about, you know, finding out the information so that you could uh, provide in a way for your family and your vision and your plans. But you threw yourself into it, Jodie, like you, you threw yourself into it and you threw yourself out there. You actually like asked for help and yes. then people responded. Oh, they did. And I found my audience has been so good with that over the years. And like, I'm, I'm really tremendously shy, unlike my husband. <laughs> like, I'm really, really shy. And um, so putting myself online was, you know, it, it was really hard. And to, to date, I've still never watched like a TV, like when I do a lot of TV, I never watch it because um, it's mortifying. But it's... um it's still been really good for my confidence and um, you know uh, I vomited live on the sunrise show once and I got home and I'm like oh my <laughs> god people are gonna think I'm just the biggest Gumby on the planet and all these all these mums were like oh you're so cute you poor darling like I didn't get a single negative thing everyone was so good so I just love them to death because they they take me warts and all and I really appreciate that. Oh my goodness me, that's that's amazing. Vomiting on. So tell me about the the TV work and the the different shows you've been on. What's that been like? Because I think for a lot of people watching, are like, oh, you know, one day I'd like to be interviewed, or I'd like to. Be, but what's it really like? What? How did those opportunities come about? And what was the experience like for you? Um. Well, it um, because I'm really nervous. It was um, so the very first time I was on TV. I'd thrown up five times before, and I had a bucket at my feet. Um, <laughs> Channel Seven to this day still call me Bucket Girl because I still get really nervous. And I think it's the sort of thing where you've either got it or you don't. But that doesn't mean you're going to be good at it or not. Um, I, I'm not polished or anything like that, nor do I want to be. But um, no, they just started ringing out of the blue and they, they saw all my articles and are like, oh, can you come talk about this? And um, I'm all for putting myself into, you know, learning and, and you know, um, even though I'm terrified of it, I do it anyway. Uh, and I'm not quite so frightened of it these days, but um, I've definitely done a lot of TV. I've done, you name it, sun, all the morning shows. Share the, share the different shows you've been on. I think that's um, really interesting for people Sunrise to... Sunrise Today, Daily Edition, um, oh, the, the every news there is, you know, Channel 9, Channel 7, Channel 10. Um, Oh, I can't even remember. It's been so often. So probably at least twice a month, I'm I'm sort of on some sort of TV or cooking show or you know breakfast breakfast talk or anything like that. So when so when they're reaching out to you, what's what's the kind of thing they're profiling typically? Um, they're normally after what are my thoughts on you know being a parent um, and all the money saving thing. I did a lot on the back to school and. Um, um, you know, Christmas costs and, you know, cooking on a budget and things like that. So anything family oriented. And I find because that's my passion to, to talk about and write about, it's easy once I get into the rhythm of things and I'm talking about something that I really, really know. Yeah. As, like now when I'm sort of a little bit out of my comfort zone, it's a yeah. little bit harder to. Yeah. 
yeah. When, when you when you're in your own rhythm and you've got you know what you're what you're um, you're actually speaking about your area of interest and you mm. get on your roll right great so would you have any uh tips or i or ideas that you could share for anyone that was um making the transition to becoming an online entrepreneur and i guess what i'm wanting to do is you've been doing your thing now for you know seven years as you say and you've built that and you have profile so there'll be a lot of people, particularly women, who are also stay at home, and there'll be some mm -hmm. guys too, or husband and wife teams who are in business together, who would in some ways be able to check out your site and see what you've been up to, and in a way lean on you as a as a bit of a mentor or a guide. Mm -hmm. um, what would be your sort of top tips if you were going to support or mentor someone that was wanting to build an online business from home? Okay, one of the the biggest things I sort of see with people that have got the idea is they, they wait to make things perfect. They're like, oh, I'm going to launch, you know, next week. Oh, no, I'm, you know, I'm going to extend that because it's not perfect. I launched with not even a website, like just go for it, hit go. And it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Just put yourself out there and start, you know, while the iron's hot and while people are interested. I think a lot of people miss the boat because they you know, wait for perfection. And another thing is a lot of websites out there are so perfect that you just, they're boring. Like, you know, you see them, particularly on Instagram, I find if I see another pastel pink bloody page, I'm going to, you know, throw the phone. So be yourself and pick things that you like. And, you know, it can be mismatch. It can be, you know, um, like on stay at home mum I'm right into the 50s you know rockabilly so I make sure even though it has nothing to do with being you know a stay at home mum that's my flavor because you know I like dressing like that so I've picked the the colors that I like it's really bright and really girly plus I live in a house full of boys so that's my girly outlet so really make it your own and try not to follow what like follow what other people are doing but don't be affected by that in your tastes and styles and things like that be your own person mm, that's fantastic that's really good that's really cool so you're saying basically go for it and don't don't wait for it to be perfect just start don't, just start and there's a saying, there's a saying jody sorry jody there's a saying that says you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great and i can't exactly. remember yeah so that's actually what you're encouraging which is awesome you yep. just go and then you talked about it doesn't have to be um, perfect and the same like be authentic exactly okay it's a huge difference i'll quite often do facebook live videos i rarely wear makeup and my hair like stands up like pubes but i don't care i just put myself out there and people appreciate it because you, when you're yourself, you'll, there's only one of you when you stand out. So, um, yeah, never be scared to do that. And also, um, like anything on social media, consistency, uh, writing from the heart, to talk about the topics that you're really interested in, style products your own way. Yeah, just everything like that. That's, it's so important. And I think if people get that authenticness right, then they can't go wrong. That's a really cool one. You can hashtag that one, authenticness. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So I like it, authenticness. So, you know, I, I made up a word called um, connectology, which was really yes. what you're talking about, which is, mm. you know, connecting with people and getting that um, the soul and the heart, you know, uh, because what's happening, I think, with, you know, technology, we're not, we're not really having those relationships and you know there is the whole perfect world of instagram but life is not really like that like you know it is it, it can be messy and it can be untidy and it you know i think this is really where you're very inspirational and and i can really see why people have you know really taken to you and you're very relatable which is awesome so what's what's next for you guys you 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 um happy to be opening up your insight and your um, know-how and your experiences to online entrepreneurs. I understand you've got a, um, you started a group or the team there started a group. Did you want to just share a bit about 
you, you know the uh, your business partners and what what yes, they're absolutely up to? yeah so um yeah I've got my business partners are uh, my husband Brendan who is just the backbone of the business he's um, CEO of stay at home mum and he's the the ground like he makes everything happen and I also have Nickers or Nicole you know um, who she's my social media manager and she's been with stay at home mum right from the start and I love her because we can be friends and business partners at the same time and we never clash and um, all three of us are very very different okay but we're all of the um, you know it's you know all for one one for all if one of us disagrees we don't do it so we're all very very inclusive and we're a really good team you know um and um stay at home mum online entrepreneurs is all about you know um helping other entrepreneurs up and coming there's been quite a few i've mentored like little ones over the years in fact one that i'm working with at the moment called um Megan from The Fresh Life, she just popped up on Instagram one day with these beautiful food photos that I noticed. Like she could style so well and I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Would you like to put them on Stay at Home Mum? And now she's my recipe editor. Oh, so wow. Okay. Got it. Out there and, you know, got noticed and, and um, yeah, and the online entrepreneurs, I, I want to share all the information I've learned because I've made every mistake there is. Oh, mm. some terrible. but. Um, but I've learnt so much too, and um, I wish there had been someone around that would have shown me how to do it from the start to avoid a lot of those mistakes, mm. and heartaches, and money that that you have to go through when you're sort of starting a new business. Because it's online is hard. You know, I'm not going to make any bones about that. It is, but you can still be real successful. Just you just have to know those little tips and tricks. Would you be able to share the one biggest mistake? That you learnt the most from um, since you've been in business, one that you'd be willing to share that people could learn from. Oh, there's so many, so <laughs> many. <laughs> I'm trying but to think. What, of what, what about what about what about your intuition? I mean, what part do you think your intuition has to play with with the online business? Because you you you're still got to trust your read of the market and things like that. Like, for instance, with the book coming up, you, you just said you're not 100% sure of what you're going to write, but you mm -hmm. know that it will, you know, it'll be okay, it'll, it'll work out. Yep. Um, you've got the contract in place. But was there ever a time, say, in your business where you went against your own intuition and then you, your intuition ended up being right? Uh, yeah, probably with people more than anything. Okay. Um, I'm very much a, a gut girl. I, I employ on gut and, you know, not on, you know, um, qualifications. Yeah. But the one time we had a lady and I didn't trust my gut because she had all the qualifications and it ended in a burning scrap heap of things that I'm still paying for now. You know, she burnt my name. She burnt my business. Um, you know, I, and I, I really cursed myself then just because I didn't listen to that gnawing gut that said it was wrong right from the start. Mm -hmm. So um, after then, um, especially with staff, you know, I've got a few of them in my house, so that it's really important that, you know, um, we get along. Um, I, I always believe that uh, if they've got the right personality and uh, that you can teach them anything. Okay. Um, yeah, I suppose, yes, definitely with staff would be my biggest thing. And, um, yeah, go with your gut and just know that you know best at the yeah, end wow. of the day. Wow, that's awesome. I'm so excited to be talking to you. It's so good. And I'm so excited to see what unfolds with this book the new, the new uh, group and then how you're starting to, you know, mentor people. Where would be the best place for people to have a look at what you've been up to and, and connect in with you, Jodie, and, and, and your business and, and your team? Oh, okay. So I, we've got a few from as well. You know, yeah, so go start. for it. That's what it's about. I'm all about promotion. I'm all about, <laughs> I want to promote amazing people doing amazing things. Actually, my agenda, if I can jump in here, is you know, good people with good hearts and getting them promoted uh, and, and create opportunities that you know get that the connectology going as the the, the the right people at the right time for the right reasons mm -hmm. and I know that the right people will be watching this and they'll be thinking oh this is exactly what I need I want to jump in and uh, jump into Jody's tribe so please go for it 
Uh, so uh, Stay at Home Mum is my big parenting website. So we have um, 850 unique users a month. So that's it. And over half a mil on Facebook. So that's www.stayathomemum.com.au. We um, also have a digital agency, Tenacious Digital, and the Stay at Home Mum Online Entrepreneurs, which you can just search on Facebook. We're doing the website at the moment. And if you're looking to, you know, start a business online, please come in and say hello and connect. And, you know, I'll do everything I can to help. Awesome. Jodie Allen, thank you very much for joining me on the Positivity Show and I would love to get you back at some point when this uh, next book is out and we can do a follow-up and you, we can share about what you decided to write on and, and uh, the name of the book and so on. Would you be up for that? Certainly. That would be fantastic. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the Positivity Show and, guys, I will uh, put all the links down below uh, after I post this interview. Jodie Allen, thank you for joining us. Thank Bye you. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Positivity Show. Bye for now.